Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today is a major declutter and organization video. We are tackling our built on carport room. It's been used for storage for the last nine years. And this year we're getting everything taken out, putting together new shelving and getting the room user friendly and cleaned up. I hope this video motivates you today and gets you moving. But before we get into that, I had just woken up on this Saturday morning and needed to get some coffee into me. So come along with me and let's do this. So one of the things that I've been adding to my coffee in the mornings has been this Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. Um, I actually got this over at Sam's Club for $22, $23. Um, and I've used this stuff before. This stuff is absolutely fantastic. I've had joint um, issues for a very long time. I had a knee injury um, that lasted a few years. I started taking this stuff and I have to tell you it works great. It took away all the pain in my knee. I had a an old injury from my dog jumping on me um, way back when and it was always causing me issues. When I started using this stuff uh, it took about a month and a half of using it. I went through one full bottle of it and then um, had to get another container of it and went through about half of that. And by the time I was done with that part of it, the pain in my knee was completely gone. So I swear by it. This silk cashew milk actually helps so much in making creamer. I add this with the stevia into my coffee and it's wonderful. Um, I think cashew probably works better than almond um, for creamer simply because I think that the cashew is probably a little bit sweeter since cashews have a little sweetness to them, but it works great. And so I put those three things in my coffee, the collagen, the cashew milk and the stevia, and it works out great. So Ken and I are getting ready to work on the side room today. We're going to give you guys some really good organization um, motivation today. Um, but first, I want to go ahead and put in a segment here for Navi Chic. This is the last video that I promised them I would do. There were going to be three total. But I want to go ahead and show you guys another one of the items that they sent me. Of course, they're little snowflakes. I got to pick out what I wanted. Um, so I picked out the little snowflake necklace and earring set. Um, I haven't had any issues with the nickel or any of the plating or anything like that. It hasn't been irritating my skin at all. So I do want to make a shout out to that because that's something that I have to be very careful with. My skin is very sensitive to things and it just so happens that I don't have an issue with this jewelry. My ears don't get weird and, you know, puss up or things like that with this stuff. So as cheap as it is, I would think that that's exactly what would happen, but it, it's been fine. So anyway, if you guys are interested in the kind of jewelry that they create in it, at the price that they have it at, I would go to navichic.com and I'm going to put it right here in the video so that you know what the website is and I'll put it in the description as well. And there might even be an eye card right about here. So anyway, all right, well, let's go and start organizing. Do you remember when we went? 
As many of you guys know, I'm a knitter and crocheter. This octopus plushie was made for my shows last year. It's been hanging in my pop-up for a very long time. He has a lot of admirers, but no buyers. So I keep putting him in the shows in hopes that a person will come along and buy him as a gift or for their older child. These are great for anxiety and for people with texture issues. One of my goals for the decluttering portion of this project was to be very intentional with what I was keeping and discarding. We found some more items that belonged to Lexi and Steven, which they took care of later on. I wanted things that we were keeping to have their own place and to be able to always know where our things are. Since this room has no interior walls, hanging shelves wasn't going to happen. So we did the next best thing and added in shelving and then redid each shelf. I can't wait for you guys to see the final reveal. This scarf and hat set was knitted about a year or two ago and it's been in several of my shows. I sell the knitted sets like these for $100. I know that that seems high, but it takes many, many hours to get something like this finished and it's not too bad considering these items will last a lifetime and can be handed down. The yarn is super soft and thick for really cold winter days, but I love this one and if it doesn't sell, I'm keeping it for me. Never up, never down, never 
Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool Alright, so we are gonna take a break. I need to have lunch. Um, Ken and I are gonna go over to, I think, Walmart. We're gonna get some metal shelving for that side room because we're gonna go, uh, we're, well, obviously, we're trying to organize. So um, I need something that's gonna have some more space on it. And what we have right now is not working. So 
I want to have a, like a, a whole shelf system for like appliances that we don't keep in the house. Um, you know, things like that. You saw earlier, I showed you the ice cream maker. I don't have a place to keep that <laughs> and I don't have room in the house. So we're going to go ahead, take a break, eat, go to Walmart and we'll be back. So for lunch, I've decided to get out these chicken fajita um, chicken strips and go ahead and put them into my beautiful brand air fryer and get those ready because after they're done, I'm going to go ahead and make a salad and then I'm going to add the chicken to the salad. So I don't know how many of you have heard about the Circle brand water bottles with the flavor cartridges, but these things are really cool. This has been really helpful for me since I'm trying to drink more water. I really like cold drinks, so I added ice to mine. Then I added a little over one bottle of water to it. Ken likes these uh, throwaway bottles from Fry's, and as a family of three, we go through these really, really fast. After the lid goes back on, the flavor cartridge will go in at the top and screw down just like this. There are numbers around the top that allow you to choose the intensity of the flavor, the highest being the most intense. You can get about five to six bottles of water per cartridge and they sell them at Walmart for about three and a half dollars each. This segment is not endorsed or sponsored, but since so many of you are trying to get healthy with me, I thought I'd share the product. I have that on six, no, excuse me, I had that on five. That was a little strong actually. So I'm gonna put it down to about two and see how that works. See what Ken thinks about it. So you have levels of flavor so you can in here it shows you numbers. The flavor you turn it clockwise and goes up so every time you go up it makes the taste stronger. If you go back down it makes it less. So right here you have pure water there's no flavor coming out and I just tried it on five it was really strong. Try it on four and tell me what you think. Yeah, that's about. Okay. I think four is perfect, actually. You get just enough flavor without it being over. Because six was a lot. That was a lot. It was very, and it's very sweet. Um, no sugar. Yeah, there's no sugar in this. So if you're looking for a way to drink a lot of water, and you're trying to watch your weight, and you're trying to... Um, make it easier to get water down, these are worth it. This is what the room looks like right now. It's still a mess, um, simply because we brought some other things back in here that we're gonna go through tomorrow. I wish we could have gotten it done today, but it's just, it's a lot of work for just two people who are getting old. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, uh, I am gonna redo my shelf with my, my yarns and stuff. I need to go through that and really start figuring out what I need to keep and what I don't and um, 
I guess, try to condense down as much as I can. Um, I think that that will be a huge help, get rid of some of the things that I just don't need in there. And uh, yeah, all of the decor is back in that corner. So I'll be able to reach all of that when it's time to decorate again. Uh, these bins down here are our daughter's who's living in the bedroom in there. So I'm gonna have her go through that and decide what she wants to keep, what she wants to get rid of. She's got some things for Goodwill that she's gonna give me so um, I can drop it off for her. So I'll probably wind up doing that sometime this week or next weekend. But anyway, that's it for tonight and we'll come back in the morning. I just gotta know if you're gonna leave me then just do So this is what we have so far. We had to stop and eat, but this is what we've got so far. All of this has been moved. I moved my black shelf over on this side. This is where my yarns and stuff are gonna be. Um, this is all just stuff piled up because it's gonna get moved. Um, this is what this looks like. So this is gonna be the food pantry area. So here we've got stuff that's already been out here for a little bit we got canned goods and bag goods and stuff like that this is going to be uh, for more food um, on this side in this section right here I'm going to be putting this green shelf with the spices in it that's going to go over there that microwave stand is going to stay right where it's at we've already got some things over here started for some storage um, this is my son's television, so a lot of this stuff is going to get moved um, at some point. I don't know when he's going to have a chance to come get it all, but this stuff that's here belongs to my daughter who lives here, so that's all going to have to get gone through and everything. We are going to have a shelf. Ken's actually putting it together right now, and we're going to be using this black shelf for an extra space for um, appliances that we don't have room for in the house. So anyway, it's coming along. We're not done. Um, that's all gotta get gone through and we gotta figure out what we keep, what we get rid of. Um, I'm gonna swap stuff so all the cleaning supplies are gonna wind up on this shelf over here and everything that's car related is gonna be over here. So cleaning, paper products, uh, toiletries, whatever it is that we've got uh, for that type of thing, the Ziploc bags, flushable wipes, all that stuff is gonna go over here on this bigger um, shelf because we have more of that. The car stuff we're going to go ahead and put over here because we don't need as much room. So anyway, that's the plan. So let's get going. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be someone else. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be someone else. I'm going to skip my breaks. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to skip my breaks. I'm going to make mistakes. Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Okay, so I've got the shelves up. I just did a time-lapse video here so you guys can kind of see all of this get cleaned up really fast. Right now it's actually 
a little after 3.30 p.m. So that means that we've been working this morning since, since this morning around 9.30. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on these shelves here, which I've already started. And um, sorry, I have people in the background. I've already started pulling things off these shelves. Um, like I said, toiletries and paper products and stuff are gonna go on this shelf here. And then over here on this shelf, this is gonna be all the car stuff. So let's get into it. Trying to get to you when you're on the low. Trying to get to you when it's on the line. Had enough, had enough, had enough. Trying to tell you that it's time to give it up. Trying to tell you that you're never gonna shine. It's enough, it's enough, it's enough. But when you're going down, falling to your knees, it's time to believe. We're taking a little side project here. I'm gonna see if this will fit over her. So I'm gonna cut the cord off this thing. This lamp doesn't work and it's not plugged in. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that cord and we're gonna use that as shelving right there. That's exactly what I did with the ones that are in my living room that are part of the side shelves on my entertainment center. So. We just, they used to be lamps, but they stopped working, so I got rid of this stuff. Okay, so now we're gonna move this thing over there. So there it is. I just have to put it back together, but I like it there actually. I like it there better than over by the window, to be honest. Um, trying to think of how we're gonna go about all of this. Still, I don't really have everything completely and totally planned. I'm just moving stuff. 
So I'm gonna put that together. Like I said, that shelf over there is for food. Um, those two shelves there, just for extra pantry space. I've already got extra appliances here that we don't use in the house. Now they have a space and those will be there when I'm ready to use them. So now this whole area is open. I'm thinking about taking that ottoman that's right there. It's that underneath those green barbells right there, that whole ottoman. I'm thinking about moving it into that space over there so we can kind of sit and put on shoes or do whatever we have to do. So it is four o'clock. Let's keep going. looks so nice out here and I can find everything it's fantastic okay so the spices which are now by where the food will be over here so this is like I said it's a full food pantry along that side there we've got food there and this will get filled up there's already some things up there for the party stuff that I'm just kind of keeping in case we need it um, and then that will be filled with more stuff as we're getting it. Probably kind of want to go through the, uh, the pantry more than likely and, um, start, you know, emptying that out. So it's not quite as full and put a lot of the stuff out here, but that's where it's going to wind up sitting. Um, and then I've got a bin down there that won't stay. Those bags next to it are Aldi bags and they're going to go in the trunk of my car because they're for the store. Now, as I showed you before, this is my appliance shelf so now all of the things that we don't use in the house has a place and when i need it i'll just come out here and get it i am so happy <laughs> i am so happy i cannot i just i can't believe that it looks like this now okay and here is the carpet machine um uh, best carpet machine i've ever owned I will never have another one as long as this one lives. So, and if it doesn't, I will get another one like it if I can find it. But it's been fantastic. And I think spring cleaning um, will require some more carpet cleaning. So that's gonna get used. All right. This over here is my yarn projects, things that, you know, haven't finished up there. Uh, some knitting needles. I've got stuff all the way up there. <sighs> And uh, I mean, you need to go vertical when you're short on space, you have to go vertical. So that container right there actually in the middle drawer has all my receipts from things I bought when I went out to eat when it was um, time for me to, uh, you know, do the shows and stuff when I was working when it was a business situation, I kept all the receipts. So they're all in there. I actually probably need to use those uh, this year for our taxes. And then, of course, the yarn is in all of the white baskets, the little white and gold baskets. Um, these things are smashed down. So what you see right there may not look like a lot, but there is a lot of yarn in there. I promise you. There's some more project stuff down inside there. There is some polyfill, batting, some material in that bag, and one of my knitting machines, which I've got another one. I think it's in my bedroom closet. I'm going to need to get it out and bring it out here. We've got some jacks right here for the car. Actually, I have three of them. <laughs> There's one on the other side of the room there by the spices. These are my weights for my tent when I go to the shows. 
my black cart that I use when I bring home groceries and I only want to take one trip. I just take that thing out, fill it up, and bring it in. This is all of my decor for winter. So this right here is actually Christmas stuff. So from here, where are you? Okay, so from here, down all the way along this side, this bucket, that bucket, that crate. That is all like Christmas and stuff. Then I have some Christmas trees back there, which I don't think you can see. You might be able to see it. Um, and then from here, over and down, all the way down, believe it or not, is all fall. And I think some of that is my mom's as well. This is actually from Harry and David. My client got me a really nice Christmas present this year. And this is actually going to get used probably in my next show just to put things in and, and have it. I've got some pictures back there, um, some lamb's ear, some other stuff back there. And as you already have already seen, this is all cleaning supplies along the shelf. I've got a great big ladder up there. I don't think that, I don't know that that ladder is even usable at this point. We've got all of these fantastic paper towels. I'll tell you, these paper towels, there's, they're too deep. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 paper towels. <clears throat> and um, these are going to last us a really, really long time. So that's why I like to go to Sam's Club because I like being able to get them in bulk and just have them for a long, long time. It saves us so much money. And then toilet paper, bags, um, toilet wipes. Actually, they're, they're bottom wipes, but there you go. Um, more bags. I've got, I was able to move the, the book, excuse me. I was able to move the box of books out from under here. And now the trash bags are down here. We've got the two boxes of leaf bags. And then that one right there is for the inside trash. And then we've got our Kleenex. That's what's left of the Kleenex that we bought um, from uh, Sam's Club the last time. Some cleaning supplies in there. I was able to get paint. There's three cans of paint back there. Some Valspar uh, multi-surface, some, something or other. All my paint supplies, my paint uh, pans. I've got my paint bucket and paint supplies in there. And my Kingsford uh, charcoal for my grill outside. <clears throat> and I've got brake fluid, oil. I mean, I, guys, I got this stuff coming out of my ears. I'll tell you what. It is a lot. I think a lot of that stuff is my son's. So as soon as he can come pick this stuff up, that probably would be a really good idea. Um, some stuff for the, for the uh, vacuum cleaner. These are actually pads. These are replaceable uh, filters for in there. Ken always goes in there and cleans it out. It takes care of it really well. And it has been fantastic for us. Our wet jet stuff, I've got some already ready to go. I've got a whole new box, uh, light bulbs, WD-40, Scotch Guard. There's a lot of WD-40 in here. This is, I think this, yeah, this is all WD-40. We wind up with, with extra cans of stuff. I don't know how we get it. I don't know if it's ours, if it's somebody else's, I don't know. Um, and then up here we have this guy is actually for our windshield. Um, we got this when we lived in Texas because boy did we need it. And um, this, this, there's a, what is this, four, four funnels and not all of those are mine. The blue one is mine, the gray one is mine. I think the two black ones, the green one and the black one are Stevens, I think. Um, shop towels, these things are fantastic. I've got some uh, like antifreeze, um, oil, let's see, brake fluid. Um, your antifreeze. So yeah, there's stuff back there for the car. And then of course, you never know when you're going to have a problem with ants or roaches. You never know. So we got that here. I'm going to probably put this down in here for fit. Yeah, that works. And maybe this. These are fantastic. By the way, you can get these on Amazon. Um, I'm not sure how much they are, but they're little um, wedges that you can get. They're made out of rubber. You put them under a wobbly table or chair and you don't have a wobbly table or chair anymore. So it's pretty nice. Anyway. Oh, my llama picture. I got to move that out of here. That was in my office before Lexi moved in, into that, uh, spare bedroom. That was my office and that llama picture was in there. And that's Ken's sword. He, he was Captain Hook. 
um, when he got dressed up for my daughter Isabella's wedding because they had a Disney themed wedding. So he still got his entire outfit. He was able to put all of this up there, um, which is great. I was not able to finish this part just because I need to go through here and figure out what we're going to put in the shed. It just got dark and it got late. I decided I wasn't going to worry about it tonight. I can do this tomorrow. I'll be here since I'm not working tomorrow. Um, but anyway, extra flooring from the hallway. That's my pegboard that I use for the, uh, the, sh the shows when I go do my craft shows and stuff. Um, the painting thing with the stick. I'm going to get rid of the head on that. Um, and just get a new one when it's time. We've got these now filled up with all kinds of stuff. Bolts, screws, nails, um, Allen wrenches, just a whole bunch of different stuff. Yeah, a whole bunch of different stuff. And Ken is very happy because he now has a place to keep everything organized. And I don't blame him. Got some S-hooks in here. Yeah, I got some drill bits in there. Got some, some glasses. Got some, I think those are hinges. Anyway, so now we've got all of these things kind of organized and we know where they are. There is 75 feet of extension cord here. A 50 foot black one and a 25 foot red one or orange, whatever color that is. This is just some leftover stuff that I still need to go through and decide what I'm going to do with it. Um, I now have two levelers, um, yeah. I guess you can never have too many levelers. One of the books I found, I love this book. This book is amazing. But these have things like all the tape and things in there that we're gonna keep. It has some hand sanitizer in here. So if we're working out here, you know, we've got that glow in the dark tape for the tent. Oh, it's just packed. I've got a battery back here that's got a plug in it. I've got my drill down here that I used for the kitchen when I was doing that and uh, some other stuff tools, um, stud finder, just some extra stuff, tape measure, and gloves, some sander stuff. So that's great. And then the books that I had in that box fit beautifully down in there. So we were able to get them the entire back. So there's two levels of books, some that are shoved all the way to the back and then these are in the front. And um, they're great, actually. Ken and I, Ken used to read a lot of the Stephen King and John Grisham books. I never did. That Hormone Diet book is really good. Um, I This book right here is one of my favorites. It's actually a Christian romance novel. And there's nothing in it that's, you know, no smut whatsoever in there. Um, and I loved that book. It was such a good story. Not like these. <laughs> I have a hard time reading those kind of books. What I do is I will, when I get to the point where they're doing stuff in the book, I will highlight it in yellow or whatever color highlighter I have. And when I go to read the book again, however many years later, I just skip over the highlighted part and I don't have to worry about it because it just ruins the story for me. I don't like that. And there's a couple of bin things down there in the bottom that are carrying extra things that we need, like um, covers for the steam mop uh, head down there, stuff like that. So. And then, of course, we have the trunk here, this ottoman trunk. Uh, it's got a lot of my son's stuff in it. Um, so, But I wanted to put it here because it just kind of got it out of the way. We can sit down when we're out here if we want to put shoes on or something. Kind of use this as like maybe a mudroom area. This, this ground is so gross out here. And it needs to be cleaned, but I don't know how to do it. This is a new chair that I just got at Walmart uh, a couple days ago. And it was, maybe it was yesterday. Um, I think it was yesterday, but we, we like it. It's kind of like a director's chair and the way that the weight that you pull it out, the way it sits, the way that they look, it's got a thing here for a drink. You could put like a plate of food on there. It doesn't go over 11 pounds. Uh, but this is nice. And I was using it today to sit in here over here when I was going through that bottom section, my feet were killing me. So this came in very, very handy. And I just like that this is all open now and it's not cluttered. Oh, I love that all of that is over there with the food where it belongs. That's great. And of course that side there, what I did is all of the grocery, all the grocery plastic bags that we get are all basically made into little, like 
the way you would uh, fold an American flag. They're all little triangles and they're all inside this T-Mobile bag. This was a, t a free T-Mobile bag they gave us. Um, yeah, and that was able to be used for that. It keeps all the bags together and we don't have them all over the place. And I could reuse them for trash bags here in the, uh, uh, in the bathrooms and stuff. So there's my step stool. This is kind of just the perfect place for this. Um, extra shelving and my extra trash can for recycling is right here. And I'm just gonna leave it there because I don't have a place to keep it. I might actually put it out in the back, um, but it's here by the ring. I have a ring doorbell. So I'm going to leave that there. Nobody's gonna try to take it because the ring is there, they'll be seen. So but anyway, we are deep with the boxes because of all of the stuff we took out here. That's full, that's full, and now we're not gonna be able to put anything in there for the rest of the week, and trash doesn't come till Thursday. Oh joy. So yeah. But anyway guys, there you have it. I'm very happy. I know where everything is at, and it feels so peaceful and not cluttered out here. I love it. Okay, well I am super tired. <laughs> And I'm going to go inside and relax for the evening. I'm Again, I'm very happy with how this all turned out. But we've been at this since 9.30 this morning. It's got to be like close to 8 o'clock. I hope you guys liked the video today. Again, like I said, it was a lot of work. But it was completely worth it. I'm so glad we did it. I'm so glad that it's finally done. I don't have to think about it anymore. And uh, I promised you guys an organization video. And I think I delivered. <laughs> so, all right. Well, I hope you guys have a good night. Thank you so much for being here and for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to hit the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed and you like this content, go ahead and hit the subscribe uh, down below. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and hit all so that you'll see all of the notifications as I put up videos. And there's more of these things coming. I still have to do my kitchen. And um, I'm going to be doing a bedroom makeover. I don't know exactly when yet. I'm going to get some new tables and lamps. Um, a new bed cover of some sort. I don't know if I'm getting duvet, a duvet or if I'm going to get a comforter, but it's coming. So I'm excited. So anyway, guys, I love you very much. I hope you have a great rest of the evening or the day, whatever time you're watching this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.